Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? And welcome back to my Let's Play of Metal Gear Solid. Before we begin the actual game, I just want to apologise to people that watch my content. I had initially tried to stream this game twice and unfortunately was having problems while streaming the game. So if any of you guys are wondering why is he playing this game again, that's your answer. Because the game was crashing and I just was running into all kinds of technical difficulties while streaming the game. Hopefully, touch wood, this time around we will be able to enjoy this game without any problems. So thank you very much guys for your understanding and also thank you very much for your patience on this issue. Unfortunately that is just something that happens, it's out of my control and you know sometimes it, it does happen when you make content on video games but nevertheless let's begin our first official part one and we're going to go for normal difficulty. Like I said in the last video, there's two endings to this game. So I'll be doing two endings on normal and we'll see if pe people enjoy the left play. I'll do other difficulties like hard, extreme. But it all depends on you guys. If you enjoy it, then I will do hard. If you enjoy a hard difficulty, I will do extreme. So thank you for your time and your patience and let's begin. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Right, first off, there's not a lot you can do until the elevator in the back comes down. So, we can collect a few items, however. So, head down these stairs, and behind the overturned oil barrel here, you'll find a ration. These are basically your health items in the game. But you have to be very careful because you can only carry a set number of them. Crawl underneath here and wait for this genome soldier to turn around and walk down past those crates to the left. Now you can kill all the genome soldiers in this area if you want to. I personally don't 
but that's up to you as the player. I just avoid them and just stay out of sight as best I can. Now in the back there is a forklift truck there. That is where we will be hiding until the elevator comes down. Just, just to the right of it here, and stay here until you get another genome soldier that will come from the bottom, this direction. When he gets near the forklift truck, we will have to change positions a little bit. But as long as you stay behind this forklift truck, you should be fine, they shouldn't spot you. Okay, so there's a genome soldier coming now. The elevator should be coming now. And there's another genome soldier on the elevator. That's fine because we just need to go back around the fort of the truck. See, if you were standing where I was originally standing, that genome soldier would have spotted you. line for the elevator now. We'll get another cook scene and some more codec calls. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with me. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome, genome soldiers, soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here?
There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you to yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very You're frank for a train killer. killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah, yeah. I'm, looking I'm looking forward, forward to, learning to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, but first let, me let me explain, explain about your solar radar, radar system. system. The, bright the bright dot in the middle, in the middle is you, Snake. The, the red dots, dots are your enemies, enemies and the blue, blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easy, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec any time you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. Oh, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. There's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with 556ers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay, so... There are two ways to get in, but one of the entrances is more risky, it's more heavily guarded. Right. There's an item on this helipad that we need, so wait till the search lights have moved away like that and grab the jab grenades. Surveillance camera? Shaft grenades are very, very good for temporarily disabling electronical devices like surveillance cameras here, as you can see. 
This doesn't last forever though, it's temporary. It only lasts for a minute or 40, 45 seconds roughly. So, one of the entrances here where that genome soldier is and he's asleep but there's also a surveillance camera there so that is the more risky approach jump in the back of this parked truck where you'll get your first handgun the SOCOM so the SOCOM is basically a small pistol that you can upgrade there's another genome soldier there so let's see where he's going Chuck another chaff grenade and we'll take the more safer approach, which is just here. Yes, there's a genome soldier here that does patrol this area, but it's more easier to get round this area. You just got to stay hidden. System to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not going to believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a high D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, you launched the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Alright, so crawl through the ventilation duct here. And just make your way through the vents. We'll get a couple more codec cars. Snake, this, this is McDonald, McDonald Miller. Miller. It's been, it's a, been a long, long time. time. Master, Master, what are you doing here? I quit, quit being a drill, drill instructor, so, so I moved down here, here for some peace and quiet. I'm, I'm in retirement, retirement just like you. Once, Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan Alaska scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Okay, head around to the left here, and then to the right. First floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Okay, a little bit further on, there should be an opening with a ladder so we'll take the ladder down and we'll be in the tank hangar there's another ration here 
case you missed any in the starting area. Press the action button to drop down. Change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Okay, to the left here behind this crate is some more chaff grenades. There's a couple of surveillance cameras here. There's one just in front of us and there's one all the way over there. But I'll tell you how to get past them. If you want to save chaff grenades, there's another way to get through the surveillance cameras. There's a blind spot right underneath the surveillance cameras. As long as you're underneath the cameras, they cannot track you. So this also saves your chaff grenades, which is handy. So the same with this camera. When it goes to swings to the right, I'll make a move like now. And then it's going to swing to the left. And it's going to swing back to the right and then back to the left. When it swings back to the right, that is when you make move. They, they can't track you. Or if you just want to use chaff grenades because you feel more confident and safe, you can do, but it saves chaff grenades in the long run. This area is a little bit tricky because not only is there a surveillance camera here, sometimes a guard will be at the bottom of the stairs and we need to get down the stairs so the way I go about this is wait till it spins to the left and then get on your stomach and crawl down the stairs to about here if there's a guard just wait until he moves on soldiers here. Just hide behind the tank here. Wait for him to move to the left or the right. Okay, that's the elevator we need to access. Take it to floor B1. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Okay, so the DARPA chief is actually in a cell here. If you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Get back in this vent and make our way around. Okay, if you look down here, you'll find a guard. Bit of extra dialogue. Oh, damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, 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 that one was built alright. 
So the woman he's actually referencing here is Campbell's daughter, Meryl, who we will be seeing very, very shortly. There's some soap on bullets here. Take them. Through this grating here, you will, for the first time, meet Meryl in her cell. Snake, the Dark Chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Okay, I am going to leave it here for part one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this first part of Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. Please leave me a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, be safe, bye for now.